you're probably aware that different apps on your cell phone can track your movements. That location data is commercially available along with other personal information like your social media profile, email address, and date of birth. But what the Wall Street Journal has learned is that the government has also bought that commercial data and is using it for some forms of law enforcement. Two components of the Department of Homeland Security are using this app-generated marketing data for law enforcement purposes. The fact that there are millions of cell phones and cell phone locations in this database makes it one of the larger domestic surveillance efforts that we've become aware of in recent years. It raises a lot of questions among Americans about their privacy and what kind of information corporations are collecting on them and what those corporations are doing with that information. This is how it works. You get this pop-up and agree to let an app use your location. A travel app may want it to suggest nearby hotels or airports. Rideshare apps want to know where to pick you up. But often, those apps are also sharing your location with marketers, who are using it for targeted ads, research, analysis, and even reselling it. But what we found is that in some cases, that consumer data is being resold to companies that buy and sell data for the government. According to people familiar with the matter and documents reviewed by the Wall Street Journal, the Trump administration has purchased a database that maps the movements of millions of cell phones in the US and is using it for immigration and border enforcement. In 2018, data tracking contributed to the discovery of a drug smuggling tunnel, according to people with knowledge of the operation. Sources describe this one case down in Arizona, a border town called San Luis, where a man had uh, allegedly built a tunnel between his property, which was an abandoned KFC restaurant, and the Mexican border. Police say that smugglers were using this tunnel, but the interesting thing is, when this person was arrested, none of the court records indicate that they found this tunnel um, based on cell records. This data was showing cell phones moving from one side of the border to the other, and investigators surmised there must be an illegal tunnel there and began further investigations that led to the arrest of this person. In a statement to the Wall Street Journal, a CBP spokesman said, quote, while CBP is being provided access to location information, it is important to note that such information does not include cellular phone tower data, is not ingested in bulk, and does not include the individual user's identity. The government would not discuss details about how it is using the data, but people familiar with some of the government's efforts say it is used to generate investigative leads about possible illegal border crossings and for detecting detection or tracking of migrant groups. The government's location data efforts are also described opaquely in the US Department of Homeland Security's privacy assessment. One reads, quote, the goal is to utilize this data to detect the presence of, but not identify, individuals in an area which CBP has identified as an area of interest, consistent with CBP statutory authorities, federal law, and DHS policy. Your average consumer looks at their phone over 150 times a day. The marketing technology ecosystem has taken off in recent years. Marketers create audiences based on rich device level attributes, including location, platform, device type, and app affinity. All this data is built on what more than 250 million mobile consumers do in real life. Every day. It's big business, and there are many companies collecting all sorts of different data. Anything from the speed you are traveling to what floor you're on, to your social media profiles. Some companies, known as data brokers, buy different sets of this data and combine them to create even more sophisticated individual digital profiles. While the privacy policies of these companies say they do not keep personal information and explain that to them you were just a few letters or numbers known as an ad ID, experts we spoke to say that by using large data sets, it's easy to figure out who a phone belongs to, which is one of the reasons why this data is so valuable to the government. I think location data is some of the most sensitive data that exists. Alan Butler is the general counsel at the Electronic Privacy Information Center, a nonprofit research and advocacy center based in DC. There are a number of different ways that a company that obtains uh, these data sets could identify a person. Uh, one way might be by mapping the locations uh, over time and because people live in operate in patterns, the companies are more concerned with you know, discrete connections. They want to tie everything together in an automated way. And the easiest way for them to do that is by using identifiers. The ad ID, which is going to connect the dots, all the dots of the mobile ad data, 
uh, but also email addresses, Facebook profiles or Twitter profiles uh, or other sort of app profile data. And so the more data those companies can get about you, the more they can connect it. If the government wanted to get that kind of data from your cell phone provider, they'd have to get a warrant from a judge. But because this data is for sale from marketers, they are able to buy it and access it without a warrant. Most recently, the Supreme Court in the Carpenter versus United States case uh, restricted the government's ability to use a court order to get commercial data from the phone company, which is the data about where your phone is connecting on the cell phone network. The Supreme Court has not directly addressed the purchasing of commercial data. The federal law does impose restrictions and, and the circumstances under which the federal government can collect personal data uh, under the Privacy Act, uh, but that, that also can be tricky if the company never actually stores the data in a government database. Recently, some companies have taken steps to alert users about location data. This market advertising data on smartphones is barely 10 years old and already we're seeing that consumers are taking more control over their privacy uh, in ways that could really hurt this industry. Um, Apple in its latest update um, made it so that it reminded users how often apps are tracking them and some industry insiders have said that the amount of location data has plummeted since Apple made that change. Users are becoming broadly much more aware of how their phones are tracking them and taking steps to limit what kind of apps have access to their location. Critics argue that if companies have this data, then why shouldn't the government also have access to it for crime prevention? I think the reaction that law enforcement should be able to get access to data that, that companies have access to uh, it kind of falls into two common traps. One is that it assumes that the companies should have access to that data too. But even given the fact that some companies have access to the data, I think law enforcement use of the data is just a fundamentally different thing because the government exercises the power of the state. And so we've always had a special set of rules for the government's collection of data and surveillance of individuals. Right now, there is no comprehensive US privacy law. The European Union in 2016 passed the General Data Protection Regulation, which more tightly controls how European data can be used. In the US, there are ongoing efforts to introduce tougher national privacy laws in Congress. Programs like this are certainly going to fuel the call for a comprehensive privacy law in the United States that limits the way corporations can share data that they collect on users. California has taken some steps towards uh, passing some greater privacy protections, but federally there's no law that stops or limits what corporations can do with the data they collect uh, on their users in this particular market. That's how it ended up in the hands of the government.